everybody a new trick she can clap as of like yesterday so that's pretty exciting <laughs> and we got an applause for the month <laughs> okay quiz one i hope all you guys did it worked on it please give the tibetan for a person who hasn't yet realized emptiness directly what is the meaning of that name uh like literally and why are they given that name oh sorry okay whoa so so he can't draw being ah uh, yeah good oh and uh why are they given that name if an individual being is because they're the only the only one who hasn't seen emptiness they are called individual being because if you haven't seen emptiness really, then you are forced by your own karma to individual places when you are taking the next breath that's really good. Yes, the re you're forced to the individual realms. Literally, oh, maybe uh, it literally <laughs> people or something like that. They are given the name because their negative emotions compel them to be born into the various realms of sansara. Cool. Next question. Yeah, but you uh, you can come back when I don't have to do all the talking. How is it that Nagarjuna says those people who haven't realized emptiness are cheated by their own minds? Please give the Tibetan and the Sanskrit word for the problems that he describes. Oops, and you can see the answer. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I didn't, you got my answer, but uh, of the Tibetan and the Sanskrit. Do you remember the process that Nagarjuna describes that the, how they're cheated by their own minds? Was that when he was talking about the two extremes of like nihilist and eternalist? Yes. Very good. They believe in a self. So they have the stupid beliefs that things exist or don't. This is my provisional translation. And because of those problems, they're overpowered by their negative emotions. And yeah, the word, I just thought it was kind of cool that use the word dosha as problems. Again, is that the correct spelling of dosha in Devanagari? Uh, let me see. Uh, it's too small for me to see. Oh, no. Um, but by default, it's correct. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, the D. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, no, that's Disha. No, it's Dosha. You're right. You got it. Okay, cool. Uh, what are three different interpretations of how these same people might believe in things having a self? This is a, a big three different interpretations of how these same people, meaning so so kiawos, might believe in things having a self. I remember the last one is they uh, grasp their things the like Dharma, the things has a self, self of things. That was the second one, yeah. The oh, thing about one, not, okay. not separate from the parts of a person. Yeah, that was the first one. They think that the me is not separate from their parts. Very good. It was kind of confusing because uh, they seem to overlap a little bit, but 
The third one is that they're attached to things as coming from their own side. Big attachment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, big attachment, exactly. Nice, good. And anybody remember the phrase in Tibetan that we were using for that belief in things having a self? This is their last STW for today. Chinook? No, it has to do with things, things, things. That's a word. Chua something. Close, right vowel sound. <laughs> uh, Tibetan yeah. things have self. Oh, things have selfers. Okay, I wanted to put the whole thing. Ngopo Chudok? That's pretty darn close. It was. Uh, Nudok Chen. Nudok Chen. Yeah. Chen. Oh. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. You didn't need to see a picture of my baby because you got to see the video footage. Wait, where's the baby? Oh, we still want to see it. Oh, well, she, babe, they want to see Amelie. She'll be back. I think Aaron's drawing a bath for her. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, you take the plane, boss. Thanks, yeah. Nick. Thank you. I don't see. Oh, here it is. Mm. I think you. Are you out of your screen? Oh, 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 oh. thanks for reminding me. Boom. Uh, wow, show your screen things not coming up for me. Um, oh, no share screen at the bottom? Nope. Uh, uh, let me check moment. out what's going on. Oh, I got it. Okay. Good? Good, boss. Okay, uh, here we go. Off on another wild guts up J ride. I sent you the updated with my new Sanskrit in case you wanted to. Uh, Whatever. When did you send it to me? Like right after the last class ended. I um, I think I have it. Okay, let's see. Uh, who's gonna check your pronunciation, Utpala? Yeah, another easy one, thanks. Okay, let's go, Nick. Shipa. Shipa mupa namki tok tula. Tsepa tak chimpa namki tok tul tang. Lopen rang ni ki sik tul tang de te pao. Yay. Okay, cool. Uh, this is hard for me. Uh, mupa, okay, this word mupa, do you remember what it means? It means admittedly, usually. Uh, that's MOD. Oh, uh, oh, lo uh, did, 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 so like denigrate or uh, that's mepa. <laughs> well, like uh, meh. there's a there's a meh that means uh, disparage too, right? Yeah, it's high tone, it's got a head letter, so that's S M O S. But this right. one means to wish, uh, and it's a mild, it's a mild word, it's not a strong one, hmm. uh, it's not as strong as like dumba, for example, to aspire. Okay, got it. Uh, Mapa kind of means uh, those who kind of wish. It kind of means they wish. Oh, you got two stars in back of you. Ah. Wow, well, look. <laughs> <laughs> like, go for it, Dad. Go for it, Dad. Make us proud. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's on now. <laughs> okay, so now there's a there's a concept about looking at emptiness, which is called mapachupa, okay? Right here, I put it for you, oh, cool. mapachupa. It means those who act on wish. Uh -huh. And that refers to people who believe in emptiness because someone described it to them and they haven't seen it yet. Okay. okay. So they are working on kind of like attraction to the idea, okay? Uh, they wish it was true, okay? <laughs> So they're acting on uh, wish, acting on attraction to the idea, okay? And I don't think that's what it means here, okay? So I assumed it was that, uh, but let's go back to the general outline, okay? Where are we here, okay? Here's the general outline here, okay? Uh, they said your ideas about emptiness are lungel, 
But they contradict, contradict scripture. They contradict the Buddha's own word. Yeah. And we want to stop that idea. Yeah. Bang. Uh -huh. And we're going to do it in four different parts. Right. Number one, uh, yes, the Buddha said that things start and stop, but uh, that was just Changden. Uh -huh. That was figurative. Yeah. Moreover, if you read the Buddha's descriptions of starting and stopping more carefully, you can actually perceive uh, wrong sh lack of self. Yeah. Okay. And you guys who are attracted to things that's coming from their own side, okay, Nguyen uh Shen -huh. Chen. You, Mitopa. You don't realize nothing. You didn't get it at all, okay? Now, number four is supposed to be like the dinema. Mopa namgi tokzulo. Well, how do the Mopa see things? Out of the wishers. Realize. And I think Mopa here should be read as those who like the ideas of Nagarjuna. Okay. okay. Those who like his ideas, okay? Can I ask you a question so, about the way you're translating tok? Yeah. Uh, you're saying see things. I mean, do you mean like how do they achieve realizations? You could say that, yeah. I'm just yeah. How, how, do, how do people who agree with our ideas about the real meaning of the Hinayana scriptures, okay? Mapa, those agreeable people. Uh -huh. Well, how do they see emptiness, okay? How do they perceive emptiness, okay? Yeah. And we're going to go in two parts. Here, here they are. Zepa tar chimba. Zepa zepa. Kul porwa. Ta chang se tabu. Zepa zepa. Kul porwa. Ta chang se tabu. Allison's translated this ritual. Oh, the one, the one day vow from the Mahayana. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it says, for one day, I'm going to act like those guys who did what they had to do. Oh, okay. So, zip, yeah. Okay, so these guys, Zepa Tarchimba means how do people who did what they have to do, they reach the end of what they have to do in this life. Well, how do they see things? Okay, how do they perceive? How do they think about the Buddhist pronouncements, maybe particularly about starting and stopping? Okay, uh -huh. how do they see things? And okay. then, hey, how does the master himself see things? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, who's the master himself? Arya Nagarjuna. Yeah, okay. And then a third category here is going to be why those are correct. Right. Why those are correct. Okay, so first, how do people who've gone to the far, who've gone to the end, see things? How does the master himself see things? And why is that correct? Okay. Why did he change the verb between the first group and the master? Ooh. Sorry, hold on. Oh, you mean, oh, because he's referring to uh, Arya Nagarjuna himself. Okay, so he got the C, high, 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 high uh, language, right? Tong. This is the si tongue for high people, Sikh, like Chen Wei Sikh. Okay, who's singing? I close the door so he will stop barking. <laughs> He's just excited about Nagarjuna. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. He says, people who are our hearts, they got it. And the master saw it. I'm just, just curious. Like, why did he change the verb? Just because he's referring to Nagarjuna, spe a specific person? I mean... I don't know. You see, Nagarjuna, what level is he at supposed to be? I mean, he's at least an Arya. Yeah. And he's the it, second Buddha, isn't he? Yeah, I was just going to say. They also well, say. that's kind of hyperbole. But, um, but uh, Utpala's new text says he's a Len Dumbawa, Sipa Len Dumbawa. He's a seven timer. Right. Oh, I mean, he's on his seventh. No. No, he's got seven, seven to go or something like that. He's an Arya. Right. An Arya. Well, that would make him lower than an Arhat. Exactly. Exactly. Unless the Arhat in question was... Uh, oh, a lower... Uh, not a body. 
Yeah, a Hinayana Arhat. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. You play with it. Keep it in mind as we go through the next section. You know, is he dissing these guys? Are they lower Arhats? Or, or is he just want to use a, a nice word with Nagarjuna? Okay, keep it in mind. Let's, let's get going. All right, here we go. Here's the first one, which is how those guys who've gone to the end see things. Okay. Tamboni. Uh, here we go. Okay. Oh. oh, so I'm going to check your uh, pronunciation, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, now, uh, this is a question that Utpala had for me. Uh, she, she was telling me, why didn't you change this M with a dot under it, okay, uh, to N all the time? Well, oh. when it comes before a labial yeah. that's made with your lips, you stick with the M, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's next letter dependent in my, in my system, okay? At you least my other. system is logical. <laughs> <laughs> you may not agree with it, but that's okay. Okay, so Anityam, Anityam. then what's this? Mosha, uh, Mosa. No. Oh, Mosha. Oh, yeah. So in the other version I sent you just now, I corrected this stuff, but uh, we'll just do it now. Uh, and I, cor I okay. corrected the final M's also. So uh, Mosha, as we all know, is short for Moses, right? Moisha. Huh. Uh, Dharma, Dharma Nam. Yeah, and you gave it an M. That's correct because the next letter is an M. It's an M with a dot under it. Is a floating nasal. It could be an M, it could be an N, it could be a Nga, it could be a Nya. Okay. Muktam. Although for this one, I would have, I did in my other version that I sent you change it to an N, Muktam. Yeah, before sibilance, uh, they yeah. changed to the dental. Okay. Muktam. Basically, any time before an M or a B, it's an, it stays an M, but everything else is an N, right? Well, I'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. NY is reduced to N. Right. And uh, NG is reduced to N. Right. Uh, now, I got to check further about an A. It, it could be considered a third, which would make this an N, it, you know, but I, I don't believe so. So I'm going to stick with a M before an A. Okay. Okay. But, but this one doesn't have a dot under it. Does that still? Right. Oh, you're right. So it would be an M in any case. Okay. And by the way, putting a dot under them is sometimes just to save paper. Uh -huh. okay? And, uh, you know, like Dwight Whitney, this is the thing he calls slovenly practice. Uh, this Yale professor considers it slovenly. Okay. Anat Makung. Okay. How does that save paper? Again. How does that save paper? Uh, you just put a dot over the A. Oh, right. Instead of an M next to the A. Uh -huh. No, people do stuff like that. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, the victim, uh -huh. iti, pashanti, pavam, pava, vichakshana. Good. Yeah, I forgot the K in the pronunciation uh, there, but I fixed it. Uh, on okay. And by the way, I have uh, already split out the, the words the way I want them. Some of these words were joined together before. Uh, I, I want to split out compounds where I can because it helps the person who's trying to connect the Tibetan to the Sanskrit. Okay, so if it doesn't hurt anything, if nothing has to change, I, I will split uh, a compound, you know, and uh, I've already split them by the time you get it. So, okay, all right. Uh, okay, uh, let's look at the pieces here, okay, of the Tibetan, all right? Uh, what would be Nola uh, Kepa? It just what would it mean? Uh, uh, well, those who know directly or knowing directly. Uh, Master. Uh, good guess. Let's read it as Mupala Kepa. Uh, oh, they know how things are, maybe? Good, yeah. People who are masters about how things are, okay. 
those guys, well, what do they think, right? Because we're supposed to be talking about our hearts, right? Or something. Uh -huh. They know that things are changing. Uh, the yeah, changing. they see uh, functioning things now, right? As changing. And they see them as... Illusory. Good, like things that fool you, okay? Maya. They see them as deceptive, okay? Oh, but it's not Maya up there, huh? What does he say from deceptive? Uh, I think it's... Moshe, something to do with uh, cheat you, okay? They cheat you. Let's go look it up, okay? Here's how we do it, right? Uh, Lokesh Chandra. Yeah, I love this guy. If I, you know, what's going on here? Uh, it doesn't want to come up. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, the problem is my Zoom is cutting me in. Okay, I'm going to do it blindly. Let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, Vimosha is Lua, okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Deceptive, cheating, Lua, Moshe, cheating. Okay, I don't know what the root would be. Must mess with you. I don't know. Okay. Okay, anyway, uh, they see things that do things as being changing, but they also see them as not being what they seem to be. Okay, they fool you. They see them like soak. Okay, now soak, I'm going to read it as straw. Okay, it's similar to the use of the word bamboo. Nuku for emptiness, okay, or deceptive things, okay, things that are hollow inside, okay. So I'm going to read it as uh, soak. And the Sanskrit can also mean dew, like the dew on the grass, mukta. Oh. Uh, you know, but I want to read it as uh, I want to read it as hollow, okay. And I I, I went into great detail on this checking it okay you can see mukta we all know mean can can mean free like the mukti uh -huh, right. uh, but that's not what it means here i would read it as uh sokma uh which means straw or or hey hey okay i think they chose straw okay sok dung and empty inside you see yeah it's hollow it's empty uh -huh. it has no cell it is devoid, okay? Uh, that's what they see, okay? Okay, got it? Yep. Now, it seems to be describing someone who's correct, okay? Because we just finished people who are wrong. We just talked a lot about people who are wrong, okay? Okay, please read this. I think, hey, oh. oh. Uh, Who's checking you? I want to get somebody in here. Shopping. Be tough on daddy. Oh, dear. Tongpa nila yangsa tabur mi sem shing chunam ki tuntam pa tang nyang in lende parnjoe lam tu tope ngpo la keba nam ki ni ngbo nam parwen shing rang shing ki tong no shejawar tong no okay good uh if you say it fast enough she doesn't have time to correct you so that's my system exactly <laughs> what's a yang sa i don't know yang sa cavern or a ravine a ravine, yeah, like falling off a cliff, you know, like a cliff. Uh, okay. And uh, so they don't see there's people in the world who don't think of emptiness as like the void that has to be scared. They have to be scared of. You see what I mean? Like if you fall into it, you will never return. Okay. There's people who don't think of emptiness that way. Okay. And they understand the dendamba of all things. Uh-huh, the ultimate 
miss the ultimate reality of all things. Okay. They also uh, are masters in the things which lead to realizations of the path, uh -huh. which to take you to nirvana. Okay. And these guys, okay, these guys uh, see things as number emba. And, uh -huh. and if you want to be uh, cool in pronouncing this word, if you want to be not cool, if you want to be normal, just say wemba, okay, wemba. If you want to show how good your Tibetan is, say emba, emba. Emba. It's kind of without the W, okay, e emba. And then everybody says, ooh, your Tibetan is so good, you know. <laughs> you know, number one. She. And I have to brag that uh, when I was in the hospital and my doctor turned out to be a Tibetan by coincidence, uh -huh. one of the two Tibetans in Tucson, uh, she said my accent was really perfect plaza, okay? So if you say emba, you can impress people, okay? Number emba. Meaning Rang Shing Ki Tong. Uh, Rang Shing Ki Tong. Uh, yeah, empty up in English, right? In English, we use up. This was the famous example in uh, Utpala's text the other day, Rek Jai Tong, right? Right, right, empty of something. Uh, empty of any nature of its own. She Jawa Tongo. That's what they saw, okay? That's what they saw. They saw what we call the the void, number emba. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The re What's emba usually mean? What's Way out emba there. usually more? Yeah, like go stay at Diamond Mountain out in the boondocks. It's called emba, emba. Okay. And, and and I'll repeat that the only Tibetan, which is very frequently said to have reached Buddhahood in this life, is is when sapa and sapa. Okay. Uh, don't ask me why. Okay. But he was called Mr. Out the Boondocks. Okay. All right. Now, he promised us, where was that? Uh, he promised us that he was going to describe to us how people who went to the end, right, saw things. Then he was going to describe to us how the master sees things. And then he was going to describe why those are correct. But it looks like he's going to do it one, three, two, three. You see, he's going to describe how these arhats, arhats perceive things. And then he's going to explain why that's correct. And he's going to go to the how the master see things. And then he's going to explain why that's correct. OK, so don't be misled by the outline. OK, let's go back to the tip. Up. They tepani, okay. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you why. I'll tell you why the way they see things is correct. Here we go. They tepani, kepangate, ngapo kechi rere la jikpe ngang tsu chen yimpe chir mitakpa kuma shin tu rang shin meba rang shin tang chepar nangwe lue chu. Yun ring do mine shing nyam chung wa niki sok tang chudaki rang shin tang drawe chir tong pa gang saki dak tang drawe chir dak me pao. Okay, cool. Uh, mitapa, lua, sok, tomba, dak me ba. Five elements. Okay, let's go back to the verse. Yeah. Yeah, mitakpa, lua, so, tomba, tagmeba, five things, okay? Mitakpa is number one, lua is number two, yeah. sok is number three, tomba is number four, tagmeba is number five, okay? Great. So, let, and then our author, uh, the great Gelta J, is going to help us out with these why the five are correct, okay? And he does it very skillfully. This is a beautiful paragraph, okay? Uh, I'll tell you why those are correct, those guys. Because they're doing five things right, okay? Okay? 
Now, Nopo, I want you to distribute it to all five. Okay. Nopos are Mitarpa, Nopos are Lua, Nopos are So, Nopos are Tomba, Nopos are Dark Mepa. Okay? I think. All right. He's trying to catch the root text. Okay. Uh, so Nopo is not one of the five. All five apply to Nopo in my in my in my way of reading it. Okay. All right. So the first thing is those Nopos are mitakpa. Okay. And by the way, I don't think this has to be taken as functioning thing. It's Just probably. Stop. I think it's bhava, right? Uh -huh. Okay. It wasn't Baba. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, is it Baba? Okay. Yeah, Baba, Baba. Lots of bones here. Okay. Yeah, so it's possible to take it as uh, things in general. Okay. Okay, here we go. Things are Mitakpa. Why? Okay, then work backwards from the chill. Things are changing, right? Yeah. Why? Because they are destroyed. Yeah, they are destroyed every in moment. every single millisecond. Nongtil is a difficult word for $30. Uh, the, just in the way ducks are. <laughs> uh, nice, nice shot, but no cigar. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I know. Yeah. I remember you explained to us last term the other meaning of nung, and I cannot remember. Yeah, yeah. So. Come on, human dictionary, where are you? Did we find a word he doesn't know, or did he go to the bathroom? Well, we had it last term, but so, but he, and he, I'm sure. Unfortunately, he I didn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nung tool means uh, the way it acts, or the way it behaves. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. This nung means uh, the way it the way it behaves. Okay. Uh, so it, it has a pattern, or it has a habit, or it, it has a, a way Modus of, of being destroyed in every second, millisecond, okay? It possesses this kind of behavior, okay? Nangto. The way of acting, way of acting, okay? All right. By the way, I will warn you guys, and you know, you're getting sophisticated, so I can get deeper also. This is very commonly uh, mistyped as Deto. Okay. D A D. Oh, sure. Because Nung is totally rare. Yeah. And D A D is pretty common. And you'll see Dung Tool a lot. Okay. Yeah. This type is typed it correctly. Uh, but uh, I'm just warning you if you ever see a Dung Tool or a Deto, consider that it might be Nung Tool. Okay. That's hard stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Secondly, these mopos I'm distributing are lue, lue at you. Uh, they deceive you. They they're, will they're, fool you. Okay. Why? Gyu machine. They're like a mirror. I uh, like nope. an illusion. Like yeah, an illusion. they're like an uh, a mirror. They're like an illusion because, yeah. in uh, fact, they are rangshin mepa. Yeah. They don't have a self. But, but they look they, like they have a they appear. Nice. Perfect. 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 They but they appear to have it as though they had a nature. And that I always think of aspirin, you know. It it seems like aspirin has something in it, you know, and has a nature of being medicinal. But it actually it doesn't. Okay. There's nothing in an aspirin that can help you. Okay. Uh that doesn't mean you should stop taking aspirins. It means you should help other people with headaches and take aspirins. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number three. You're entering to me. Yeah. So here, you know, how we're gonna take the soak. Uh -huh. Now it's tempting to take it as do. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, because a yunring to me. It seems like uh, they don't stay for a long time. Good. Uh -huh. And Nyam Chunga for $20. Uh, Nyam Chung. You think you a little bit believe that they did? Uh, that would be SN. Right. And uh, oh, they, dege they degenerate little by little. No, 
Uh, Nyam Chung is the Tibetan colloquial word for shy. Oh. Or weakling. Okay. So, oh, Nyam Chung, uh, you know, this little kid is very shy. Okay. Oh. Uh, un, what do you call it? Unassuming. Okay. That's called Nyam Chung. Okay. So, their very weakness. Okay. They're very ephemerality, you know, they can't stay very long. And they're so, how would you say that? Uh, oh, uh, fl fleeting. Powerless or something? I don't know. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that kind of fits do, you know? Uh, yeah. They, they don't have any, they're not very assertive, <laughs> do, okay? Okay, so, okay, so it's referring to, Changing things, right? Yeah. Uh, then number four, these things are tomba. Oh. Why? Uh, because they don't have any nature of things. Yeah. Okay. okay. They don't have any nature of things. And he's setting up the second kind of no self nature, which comes next. People. They have no self nature. Uh, because they, because they lack the self nature of a person. Yeah. So he wants number four to refer to things. And he wants number five to refer to people. And that's why Nugarjuna mentioned two of them when he could have just mentioned one. Okay. Cool. I'm cool. Okay. Here we go. Second part is Lopen Rangiki. Uh -huh. How the master sees it. Yeah, and I'm taking this, this next two verses as Jetop. Okay, in the aftermath period, after seeing yeah. it. And he's a non Arhat. Okay. Right. Because if he was a non Arhat, this stuff would, he'd be seeing the same thing that he saw during, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's look at Nick's pronunciation. I keep the H's, okay, nowadays. Oh, I took them off the, and I think you might, this was, you were in my head. I took it off the, the T's only. Yeah, I used to do that and I stopped doing it. Okay. Uh, and, um, what do you think about this M here? Uh, I think that that should clearly be an N and I changed it on the version that- uh, Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Oh no, it's all good. Yeah, okay. And then uh, the one below on the Nisharam, Nisharam, I changed that to an N as well. Uh, uh, Just remember the commas and the periods. Uh, uh, oh, I, I, I added those on that version. <laughs> okay. Nis. Uh, run right, yeah, because yep. it was a uh, uh -huh. uh, Gandharva Nagaro Oops, okay, San Moha. Oh, uh, I think I changed it back to an M. On that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, San Moha Nagara Nagaran, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, Pardam, Pardam, right? Uh -huh. uh, oops, I, uh, <laughs> what was it? Goran, uh -huh. yeah, Jagan. Okay, <laughs> Yay. I, he has such a noble voice. I know, My, he, uh, there's he doesn't bark much. I don't know what he's all worked up about right now. Nagarjuna is Nagarjuna. Okay, all right, good job, Nick. That's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's italicize it, right? Yeah. And I just do that to distinguish it from the non-fixed Sanskrit. Okay, cool. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Neme mikpa yomayin, tsawa matching. Never met. Margin is to jump to my Utah number bank.
Let's do the pieces, okay? Let's do the pieces. Uh, name me. No staying. Yeah, and make me. Uh huh. No seeing. Yeah, cannot be perceived. Salome. Uh, -huh. uh no root. Yeah, and nepape, and maybe it means and therefore nepame. Uh huh. And so it doesn't stay. Why did I? Why did I insist on that? Uh, not really. Okay. Marik gule shindu jung. Oh, sorry. Oh, marik uh, gule shindu jung. The from the cause of misunderstanding. Ah, uh, no wait. Shindu. Yeah. Uh, oh, from misunderstanding, karma com comes up. Well, no. Uh, or is it from the cause of? It could say it has very much happened from the cause of misunderstanding the world. Uh huh. Or it could be saying it has gone beyond uh, the mis like uh -huh. menjung, right? Like, yeah. So we have to wait and see how Gelsab J takes it. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is free of togma and uh -huh. u and ta. It's got no beginning, middle, or end. Nice. Okay, great. Chushing shinto. Chushing water uh -huh. tree. Trees. Yeah. Water tree means bamboo. Okay. Oh, cool. It's a Tibetan word for bamboo. Kadali. Oh. Kadali. Shindu. Uh, Ningbo me. Uh, no essence. Uh, meaning hollow, I guess. Right. Uh, nisara. Yeah. Nisara. Nis. No. Sara can mean. Uh, Heart, okay. Cool. Uh, what's that? City of stench. <laughs> uh, Tisa. Uh, oh, oh, the city of, um, I guess they're Bardoas. Yeah, these are pretas. Oh, pretas. pretas, right, right. Yeah, sort of who eat smells, okay. Uh -huh. And the uh, Sanskrit is interesting because it's Gandharva, right? Uh huh, right. Which also means the same. And that also means. The celestial musicians, right? So you gotta be careful to make sure which one he's talking about. Okay. Uh, to say to me. But the, the city of the Pretas is a very famous example for an illusion because they think they see a city like a New York City and they run to it and there's nothing there. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, 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 so it's uh, oh, oh, it's like that. Yeah. And it's like a city of blind people uh -huh. where everyone's blind. Uh -huh. uh, something about it is endless. Uh -huh. And beings appear as illusion. Okay. Uh -huh. Can I ask you a question? Uh, if you scroll back up, does Mongpa have to be a being who's deluded or can it be delusion itself? Let's see how he took it. Because we're following, this is really where he gets to decide. Okay. Okay. His son Moha is uh, completely, Moha means uh, confused, utterly confused. San Moha. Okay. San Moha. But let's see how he takes it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's read. Nachuki de Troa ti lopun ki jetop la kuma shintu nang shing sik pa yin no. Okay. Uh, so he got the root text, which is droa, right? Uh, where is that? Here, droa. Yeah. Which can mean one of the births, like ngendro. Or higher birth, lower birth, okay. Uh, but it can mean, I think he takes it here as the world, okay. He says, listen, when I, when I see Droa here, I want to take it as including both the ne and the ch. The vessel and its contents. Yeah, so it doesn't mean beings for him. Uh -huh. It means being, okay. Weird. <laughs> Whether you're a person or a or the world, okay? So droa can mean uh, type of type of being 
or a realm. Okay, Droa can mean realm. Like Nendro means lower realms, right? Bad going. Uh, so so Gyaltsev J wants you to know, I consider it to be realm here and not person, okay? Uh, D, uh, Lopen Ki, J Tobla, here it is, yay. Yeah. Okay. So after the direct perception of emptiness. Uh, yeah, the master himself. And he's talking about how Nagarjuna sees things maybe while he's writing the book. Mm. And uh, in, in, he sees it as an illusion. Mm -hmm. Appearing as an illusion. Appearing as an illusion. Because people who haven't reached Tonglam can't even see it as an illusion. They don't see the discrepancy, okay? Got it? Yep. Uh, well, Jita Gimatabu Yin, Shina. Someone might say that uh, it is, someone might say it's like an illusion. Uh, no, Jitabu, it's a question. Uh -huh. Oh, what is it that's like an illusion? Yeah. How, how is it like an illusion? Yeah, how is it like an illusion? Yeah. And and uh, then uh, Nagarjuna gives Tepashi. So I spent a long time looking for Tepashi and I decided it's not a standard thing, okay? Uh, there is a Misepashi, but that's another story, okay? Uh, so I would take it to be a uh, justification, okay? Uh, this one uh, for justifications, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, there's four justifications for what? Or justification, oh, for how it's like an illusion? Good, good, okay. There's there's three, uh, <laughs> there's four, okay, too many. Uh, so I take it three of these are from a negative point of view. Yeah. And then the fourth one is sort of a conclusion of the three. Okay. So Gelkin means uh, I'm reading it as a negative uh -huh. point of view, meaning uh, things that would disallow it. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, First one, I take it to be baseless, no foundation in reality. Nay, uh, please read. <laughs> nay, sam ten denpap me ching. Yeah. <laughs> now look, nay me in the Tibetan, right? Uh huh. Baseless. Here he yeah. says nay for me once. Uh huh. And I think he says it again somewhere here. First line. Name it. Oh, you're right. Yeah. See, Nick? Yep. Here he says, name me. And here he says, ne for me. Okay. But in the Sanskrit, it's different words. Okay. It's, oh, diff it's different words. Okay. Anavastitam is the second one. It doesn't oh. say. And apratish, apratishtam uh -huh. is the first one. So, and they're not the same. The state root is the same to stay, right? Uh -huh. Like station or stationary. Okay. But the rest is different prefixes, but the Tibetan doesn't show any difference. You see? Just the pa. <laughs> I guess they're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So keep that in mind. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. So here we go. Uh, yeah. I'm no What's that? No, I was, that it's important to keep in mind when translating it. I was just thinking. Yeah, it's it's cool to have the uh, Sanskrit, right? Right. So ne samten demba me as a as a object at at the base. Uh, there's no reality. It doesn't have any reality. Okay, what the Arya sees after they come out of the direct perception the emptiness has no basis in fact okay something like that all right yeah now so 
I take the first one to be no foundation in reality. Now here's the second one. As an object, it's also unreal. Okay. Yep, I'm Mayan. Right. And huh. uh, this could be correct. It could be another justification, you see? Because but it doesn't belong to anything. Okay. There's no statement after it which justifies an instrumental here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's just the hanging instrumental. So uh -huh. I guess you could say, uh, because as an object, what you're looking at is not real, okay? Uh -huh. Second justification. Here's the third justification. Uh, in the sense of having no seeds, it has, it has no basis, okay, or root. Okay, it hasn't come from anything. Okay, those things that an Arya sees are unreal in the sense that nothing has caused them because they don't exist. Okay, husband in the kitchen, right? The woman who achieved direct perception of emptiness still sees the husband as yelling from his side. Okay, it's interesting that it says Saban. We're gonna, it'd probably be bad for the mixed nuts to translate that as seeds. Well. I'll leave it up to you, but uh, it just means it has no root yeah. in the sense that it has no causality. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, seminal cause. <laughs> then it doesn't stay. Okay. Uh -huh. It doesn't stay. Uh, therefore, it has no place. Okay. It has no staying. Okay, uh, cancel. Uh, in the sense of three of these three reasons or justifications, it doesn't stay. Okay, I take that to be the conclusion, and I take those four to be the justifications. There is another uh, set of kensum. Okay, but I don't think it's any very helpful. Okay. And I went, you know, searching for all this stuff. And in the end, I decided it didn't help, okay? Uh, I, I don't think these are relevant, okay? And I really tried hard, as you can it's see. Like, it's like a logic thing? Uh, oh. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't apply. Okay? Yeah, right. All right, let's go to here. Okay, we only have a couple minutes left. Two minutes. Yeah, that's a good time to do this last sentence. Droa orang shen mena, natsok su jitar nang shena. Yeah. Okay. If if droa uh -huh. is, has no, no nature. Oh, the, the the realm, right? In this case. Yeah, uh, the world and the beings. Nature, right? Uh -huh, right. If the world has no nature. Uh huh. Then why do we see such a variety of things? Uh, uh, why does the not soak nang to us? Yeah, why do we see so many different things? Shena, okay. uh, uh, even though they don't exist, okay? Nangwe gui keparni marik. They don't exist, they do appear. And the particular cause that makes them appear is Maripa, okay? Okay, yeah. And they come from that Maripa. So Shindajung, now we got we got it, right? Yeah, they really come from it. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of uh, delicate because they don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so here you got a, a cause, a, a result coming from a, a result that doesn't exist is attributed to a cause. Okay, but the appearance of them exists, okay, right? Uh, so they come from the cause of misunderstanding, okay? They need What's that mean? Uh, but we're not denying that they appear to exist, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, they, they do have a, the appearance has a cause because the appearance is a real thing. What appears when there's an appearance 
is unreal and doesn't have a cost, okay? So Yeltsin J says, when they attribute this thing to a cause, what they're saying is the appearance happens, but not the thing that appears. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's pretty clear, actually. It's one of the clearest things Yeltsin J has said. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough Yeah, well, be careful. When you think you understand Yeltsin J, you're probably in trouble. Okay, stopped here. Now there must have been some reason why I was going through and numbering things, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> Stopped here. Five twenty-one. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yay! We made it through. I wonder if it's going to get easy at any point. I don't think so. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I don't think it. You is. say that every class, Keshula. <laughs> Well, it's just kind of like, when's he going to let up? Yeah, doesn't seem to be his MO. No. OK, well, we'll just suffer along. <laughs> you want to sushi me? Ashi puki juk shing me tok chum. Pri rab ling shi nyen de gen pa di. Sangish <laughs> Uh, I really want to thank you, Nick, for hanging in there and all you guys. I This is like the most pleasant days of my life is when I get to work with you guys. So please live a long life and please hang in there. You please keep teaching us, Geshe Michael, and please live a long yeah. life and stay because this yeah. is great. And, uh, okay. This is a really thanks great... for your patience with us. Yeah. Oh, thanks for <laughs> the guardian <laughs> patience with all of us. Thank you. Thank you, you I love you. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Thank you. Who's, Thank you up, who's up in the morning, by the way? I am. Ooh, cool. Okay. Good night, you guys. Good yeah. night. Please send me the text, Geshela. I'm yeah. going to do it right. All five, right? Okay. All five, yeah. Okay. And the extra one for word. Yeah. Or five no. And a half. Five and a half. I'm on it.